Aloha my fellow DoorDashers, welcome to another exciting DoorDash video. Today I will be taking you guys with me on a lunch rush and a dinner rush. But before I get into the video, I just want to discuss why I haven't posted any videos on my YouTube channel in the past two weeks. As you guys know, I do have my own side business and a company that I'm associated with, they went live on the stock market on the NASDAQ and they invited me and my wife to go out and uh, be there for the bell ringing and be a part of the bell ringing ceremony and just see all the exciting things that come with that. So I'd like to apologize for not posting any videos for the past two weeks. I really want to be on the grind, posting YouTube videos, hitting my side hustles, hitting my goals. I'm still doing my $10,000 DoorDash challenge. Let's dive into this quick two hour lunch shift and then I have a five hour dinner shift locked out. Hopefully for this lunch shift, let's try to make at least around $40. If I can make about $40 right now for my lunch shift, that'd be awesome. I have already made $50 with Redfin today with two cancellations. Didn't even have to leave my house, made $50, so that's not bad. And uh, yeah, so let's get into this lunch shift, man. All right, guys, we just got our first order. It looks like a pretty good one. It's for Walgreens right down the street, and it's showing 1075 for about three miles, and it's keeping me within my little range. So that's awesome. Hopefully this is a quick order with no like needs to text the customer back and forth, and uh, we can start off with a quick like $11 to start the shift, man. All right, guys, just finished up this shopping pay order. They only had small bags, so I'm gonna have to drop off like five bags to uh, the customer's house because it is being paired up with a Jersey Mike's order which I took, it's an additional $6, and Jersey Mike's is usually really good, and it's right next to where I'm dropping it off, so cannot complain so far, but let's not jinx it. All right, guys, check me out. Gone to Jersey Mike's, and they are always good for it. So I got a whole box full of stuff that's all going to the same place, and it's only half a mile down the road, so we are starting off this shift tremendous. So my only dilemma right now is it's going to a hotel right down the street over here, and... <laughs> I got a whole bunch of bags right now, so I'm thinking I'm just going to bring this entire box. Yeah, I could probably just carry the whole thing in and then it kind of just folds up. So I think that's my strategy going in because of course there's no such thing as two trips. You know, my arms will fall off, my fingers will fall off before I take two trips into this hotel right now. Order is dropped off. It was a first floor, so I didn't have to go up a flight of stairs or anything, so that's awesome. Uh, and it was kind of, it was right next to the main entrance, so not a bad delivery at all. We're at $16.75. And right when I dropped it off, I instantly just got another order. Um, it's a, I think it said 11.75, but could be higher. And it's for Panera Bread, but it's for over nine miles, which generally I don't like to take those, but it's straight highway and I can go right back into my zone. So I took it because Panera is usually good with this. Fingers crossed. I usually don't have to wait at Panera. And like I said, it's like the store is right next to the highway and then the house is right off a of highway. So I can just boop bop and I'm good to go. So 11.75, hopefully it's quick. And uh, hey man, about $17, only 30 minutes into the shift. Already got 11.75 order on the way. Not a bad lunch shift so far. Just dropped off the order, it was a hand to customer. And we are just about an hour into things and we have $28.50, so. Apparently because it's February break, everybody and their mother is at IHOP right now. So I waited in the lobby for like five minutes and I was like, all right, it's a $4 order. I'm not going to wait any longer than this. So I unassigned it. And you know what, guys? The DoorDash gods rewarded me because I unassigned that order and I got like two more really bad orders thrown at me right away. Like as I was leaving IHOP, declined both of those bad boys. And the DoorDash gods are like, you know what, guys? Steve is not messing around today. He's putting his foot down. He's standing up for what he believes in. We're going to give him a really good order. So now I have, I think it's like a $22 order for 10 miles. And it's bringing me in the direction of my house. So I can just drop off these two orders. Oh, yeah. And it's, a, I think it's Jersey Mike's and Tropical Smoothie or Five Guys. Can't remember which one. But two stores that are both right next door to each other. All right guys, so that's a wrap for my lunch shift. I made $51 in exactly two hours. So uh, that's like, what, $25.50 an hour. That's not bad. So I'm on my way home. I'm about 10 minutes from my house right now. I'm gonna do a little work on the laptop and then I have a 5.30 p.m. showing with Redfin and then I'm gonna get back out there and sling some more DoorDash for the night shift. I think DoorDash is back. I think it's safe to say you can make a good amount of money on the side doing DoorDash. So hopefully uh, the night shift is as busy as the uh, lunch shifts. Guys, this is why DoorDash is actually a beautiful thing, man. Lunch shift, it was popping. Made $51 in two hours. 
had some other work stuff I had to do, made some other money, took one bad order, declined a bunch of really, really, really bad orders, and then dropped off one decent order. I just dropped off like a $6.50 order for uh, two miles or something like that, not bad at all. Declined a bunch of other bad orders, and I just realized, you know what, guys? It's not happening today. It's a Wednesday night. I guess no one's out here ordering food, at least no one that wants the tip. It is what it is. Why torture yourself and be out here grinding out these small orders with the hopes of trying to get better orders with a higher acceptance rate? For me, no bueno. When things are happening, jump in there, make it happen, go make some money. And then there's going to be nights like this where it's not happening. And I'm totally fine with just turning off the app, cutting my losses, going inside and doing better things in my life. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I made $20 in an hour. Well, it was an hour and 22 minutes. I'll just round up say an hour and a half. So I made $71 in three and a half hours today, averaging out to about just under $21 an hour, which is really not bad. I mean, I like I said, I had other work things I had to do, and I actually have plenty of things I have to do right now at the house for work. So I'm just gonna go in and do that. Again, that's the beauty of DoorDash. You can turn it off whenever you want to turn it off. But anyway, guys, it feels great to be back. It really does, man. I'm, I'm sorry for the little two week hiatus. Promise you it won't happen again. I got many more dashes scheduled out already for the next few days. Hopefully uh, they're busier than tonight's shift. Uh, man, the lunch shifts have been killing it though. Gotta say the lunch shifts have been on point lately. Uh, so anyway, with that being said, if you guys have made it this far into the video and you're into DoorDash and other side hustles and you're not already subscribed, show your boy some love, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.